Morgan, another interesting weekend for mm -hmm. the Pirates. Uh, a dramatic win on Saturday against Willamette. Uh, and then just a frustrating one goal loss on Sunday against Linfield. Uh, take us back through the weekend. What did you see from the Pirates? Yeah, I thought um, for our guys, uh, was a, for the most part, I thought we played pretty well. Um, Linfield all, always presents a challenge, you know, very low block defending quick counterattacking. Uh, they've been super successful the last three games leading into Sunday doing that and so they had a ton of belief in that. We had to finish our chances early and uh, we had, now that I watched film last night, we had three or four chances early in the game where I think we should have done, done better and it was the same at their place this year. Uh, three or four chances and we had countless opportunities with the ball in there in their defensive third where we could have, I, I thought, been a little bit more clinical and then it would have been a different game. Uh, you know, to only give up three shots on goal and end up losing the game it is unfortunate for us. Um, and I think we had 19 shots in the game. Um, so for us, that's been a big story of, of our year and a big takeaway. And even against Willamette, I thought that was a big... Uh, a big takeaway. We created a ton of chances. Um, we ended up wearing them down. Uh, and of course, to go up a man in the last 20 minutes of the game, uh, you know, the last 15 minutes of regulation and then extra time, I think we created something like seven shots in those 20 minutes. So eventually, you know, one of those is going to go in. And uh, I was happy for Britain. Uh, he battled through the whole weekend, and uh, especially in that game on Saturday. You know, he got uh, pretty significantly uh, hit, you know, for that the, the second yellow that um, that Max Berner Hayes had for Willamette and for him to come back in the game and then he get the winner I thought was pretty special. This team has had to learn how to deal with adversity. Yeah. Maybe more than any team you've ever coached. Yeah, for sure. Uh, as a coach, how do you make sure that the lessons learned this year carry over to the future and, the, and next season and seasons beyond. Yeah, I think always for us it's it's about commitment, um, commitment to grow, commitment to learn, um, commitment to let these you know seeds that that are being planted in them let them grow. Um, and the only way that they can allow those things to grow is if they really cultivate these lessons that that we're learning and not look at the results, not look at you know, what could have been, um, but really look towards the future. And I think that's a huge part of what we will see next year, the year after, the year after that. Uh, and hopefully this, even this season, um, we can take away, you know, we grew in this area based on lessons we learned in the past, you know. Um, and I do, I think that that's important that we don't go backwards we don't feel bad for ourselves, um, but we do constantly uh, learn from these things and, and run towards the challenges and the adversity that we have. We don't run from it. Pirates still have a chance to have a major impact on yes. the conference title this yeah. year. Unfortunately, yeah. not for themselves, but yes. uh, going to play Whitman yeah. on Saturday. Always a fun and interesting game against yes. the Blues. Uh, yeah. What kind of challenges, what's, what's the... Uh, outlook for Saturday's yeah. match. Yeah, I think our guys more than any game this season I think felt hard done in that in that game. Um, we did so well uh, early in the game and to concede two goals on on <laughs> corners and then to concede such a goal against a run of play in, in overtime, it did feel like it was a, a loss that wasn't fair. Um, life is not fair uh, so our guys to be able to get another chance to try to earn uh, a result uh, and earn you know their luck earn their favor uh, I think our guys are really excited about that so obviously it's always interesting game <laughs> and the three of the last four games um, you know it could have gone either way or roll the dice so uh, so I'm excited to see what what our guys do to apply themselves and be, be the best version of, of themselves on Saturday.